Everyone knows universities have more women than men on average. Australia, 58-42. The UK, 56-44. USA, 46-36. Sweden, 23-15. And these gaps seem to be growing. You might think it'll be a massive advantage going to university as a guy. Or a massive disadvantage if you miss out. But how much of an impact can the all-important male-to-female ratio really make? Well, let's simplify. Let's say you are one of the unlucky guys who was left behind. The ratio in your non-university town is three men to two women. Now, assuming a normal distribution of attractiveness for the men and women, we'd anticipate there'd be one above-average woman and one below-average woman. Then, for the men, we'd have one above-average guy, one average guy, and one below-average guy. Anyway, assuming each person pairs off with the best of what they can achieve, the above-average guy will go with the above-average woman. The average guy will go with the below-average woman. Then the below-average guy will get to nothing. This is what the perfect market looks like when the ratio is skewed 3 for 2. And that's not even a terrible ratio. I'm sure many of you guys have been to nightclubs. This video was actually the last time I went to a nightclub. And I felt compelled to take my phone out and film because as you can see, it's like 90% guys. Or for you STEM guys out there, I'm sure you've had maths classes where it's also like 90% men. So... This shows that when there is even a slight imbalance between the ratio of men to women, it can lead to a drastic difference for what each participant can achieve relative to their true value. There is a strong chance you'll either be dating significantly up or significantly down if the ratio skews in or against your favour. Now, since we've established how important the M to F ratio is... I think the next part of the video to move on to is solutions. For those who don't know, I'm all about solutions on this channel, so I want to tell you how you can put yourself in the best position for your dating life. Or in other words, where are the girls at? Well, from the thumbnail, I showed this chart. This is crucial to have the best chances in dating. It's called a population pyramid, and it shows the number of men and women at every age in society. All around the world, you will see population pyramids of various shapes. Some of the most intriguing ones are Russia, which has a massive female surplus in older ages, all due to the sheer number of men killed in World War II. And South Korea, which has the world's lowest birth rate, so there are hardly any young people being born anymore. If you want to find the population pyramid for where you live, just do a quick Google search for whichever town, state, or city you live in. Or, if you're like me and live in the UK, there's actually this really cool website which provides government statistics on the population pyramids for every place in the country. I'll leave the link in the description for those that are curious. Anyway, this particular pyramid pulled from the website is of a medium town in the UK called Lincoln. And, out of every place I checked, this had, by far, the healthiest population pyramid for dating. Dating as a guy here must feel like there's three hot girls on every corner. So, why is it so great? Well, look at this spike in population of young people. Particularly the girls, which juts out more than the boys. In the 18 to 25 year old age range, there are 10,500 women whilst only 9,700 men. Which means for every 100 men, there are 7 extra girls. That might seem small on the surface, but if we compare it to say, somewhere like South Gloucestershire, which has 15,000 men and 13,300 women from 18 to 25, this means there are 13 more men per 100 women here. Would you rather live in this dating market or this dating market? There is a 20% difference between the two just for living in a different place. But that's not even the most important reason for why this place is so great. 
Notice the steep drop-off for the number of men in their late 20s and early 30s. This is a massive deviation compared to the rest of the UK, which has an even spread across the ages. Now, this is very relevant. Because, though most early 20s guys are only trying to date girls the same age as them, they are often met with fierce competition from guys who are 5, 10, or even 15 years older than them, which saturates the market. Lincoln is great because there aren't anywhere near as many late 20s to early 30s guys to saturate the market. Furthermore, if the population pyramid instead looked like this, which is Milton Keynes, one of the worst places to date as a 20-something guy, you can see how saturated the market would be where there are a massive number of 18 to 35 men, but hardly any 18 to 25 women. So, when these guys start competing for the limited 18 to 25 women, it leads to a very competitive market. Now, the main reason for why places like Milton Keynes have such terrible markets while Lincoln has a great one is because of one thing. University. Milton Keynes does not have one. Lincoln does have one. A very big one, in fact, compared to its local population. So, in places like Milton Keynes, when people reach 18, a good portion of them leaves for a few years to cities which do have universities, and therefore making the dating market far more favourable there. Now, obviously Lincoln is just one example, but the rule applies to a lot of cities. E.g., another great city is Norwich which again is home to a university, a massive one enrolling 20,000 students, and you can see immediately the impact it has on the pyramid here. Now, there is one exception, because a city with a university doesn't always lead to favourable dating. One place in the UK with an absolutely abysmal market is a place called Charn Wood. This is the population pyramid of Charn Wood, and this is arguably the worst demographics you could get for dating as a guy. You should be able to instantly recognise from looking at the chart, it's a terrible, terrible market here. Very, very saturated. And the problem with Charn Wood is that it is home to a university called Loughborough. Now, though a university sounds like a good sign, in this case, it isn't, because Loughborough is an extremely sporty uni. The sportiest in the country, in fact. Look at the huge spike of men in the 18 to 25 year old age group. Now, there is a spike for women too, but it's nowhere near as dramatic. And this is because, quite obviously, sport is way more popular among men than women. Additionally, the fact Loughborough is a highly sporty uni means it attracts lots of young, in-shape athletes. Let's bring back that photo. These aren't unattractive guys. These aren't going to be NPCs at the uni. These aren't sub-fives playing video games for 8 hours a day. These are Chad Lights who will do a way better job at cleaning up the women that are available than you. Hopefully that makes it clear that sporty unis have a lot of men. So many men, in fact, that in Loughborough's case, it has a gender split of 60 to 40, or a 3 to 2 ratio of men to women, which is exactly like the example I showed at the start. The attractive guys get the attractive women, you as the average guy get the less attractive women, and the sub-fives get nothing. So in other words, if you're an average to below average guy living in a place like this, you've essentially got no chance. All in all, to finish on a positive, the message of this video is for any man wanting the best for themselves in dating, all I'd ask is to use your brain. Don't make it harder for yourself. Don't live in a saturated market. Understand the demographics pill and ideally live in a place with an abundance of women so you can date on the path of least resistance. And lastly, I just wanted to mention I've been receiving a few emails recently asking if I'm still selling face ratings. The answer is yes, I am. And as long as this channel exists, I will still be selling face ratings, even if I haven't uploaded in a year. 
So if you're interested in this, check the first link in the description to get yours. The prices are affordable and designed so it can be purchased in reach of anyone. There's also looks maxing advice in the greatest package, so if you want to improve your looks, make sure to get that one. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure you press the like button and leave any thoughts in the comments on your way out, as it all helps the YouTube algorithm.